darkness. Do you feel the darkness as it coils about you? Do you see those midnight black tendrils as they slither towards you? Do you recognise that encroaching cloak of nothingness as it begins to wrap around you? Do you see how the inky murk blots out parts of your life as your friends become obscured by the gathering darkness? Have you any idea what is waiting for you in the shade as the pools of despair begin to form at your feet? Can you feel the icy embrace as the levels of gloom start to rise, swallowing you up bit by bit? Are you aware of the advancing chasm as it swallows up your family, wrenching them away from you, consigning them to oblivion? The engulfing darkness causes them to vanish, and even their desperate cries and shouts become muffled and then extinguished. Do you remember what held your interest before this fog arrived? Can you recall those hobbies and past times that entertained you, gave you a sense of who you were as you engaged in them and with other people? Can you, or is the fog too thick, so that you doubt if you ever did undertake them at all? Have you noticed how the air has become thicker and cloyed with poison, or do you breathe it in, oblivious to the toxicity that comes with it? Are you aware how the twilight has percolated into your ears, so that everything you hear has become twisted and distorted. Do you recognise what is patently before you, or do the shadowy shapes and figures make little sense when they once did? Have you realised that your words have become dust in your mouth, as the fur of the darkness fills your mouth and slides down your throat? strangling the sounds you try to make? Do you feel the icy embrace of this impenetrable wall of darkness which advances to you and over you? Do you recognise this glacier of despair as it slides over you, subsuming you and sucking you deep inside, preserving you in a dark, icy tomb? Do you even see your reflection in the mirror anymore? Or has that become masked in darkness too, the glass dulled so that everything becomes obscured and shows something else entirely? Do you see those shades which come and torment you, their sinewy fingers pulling at you as they strip you piece by piece of what you are? Do you observe these wraiths as they devour you, sucking what you are into their dark moors? How does it feel as this corrupting night brings permanent darkness to your world? Do you see how nothing grows anymore when touched by the gloomy taint? Do you smell that foul stench which accompanies this unended blanket of murk? the acrid fumes which waft into your nostrils and eradicate anything sweet and pleasant? Do you notice how your tongue lies flat and useless in your mouth, a little more than a cold slab? Do you even acknowledge how everything tastes like ash? Do you feel the leaden weight of this darkness pulling at you, slowing you, and seeking to engulf you? Do you recognise how it prevents you from breaking free, this glue-like morass which has fastened onto you and will not yield? Do you notice the fatigue that now wraps around you, leeching at your energy and vitality? Do you hear anything other than the whispers of malevolent control 
that rattle about your Benegan brain. Do you know who you are? Or has this vast, amorphous darkness eradicated your sense of being? Do you remember what it was to feel uplifted, joyous and happy? Or have you become accustomed to the flat, perilous embrace of this total darkness? Do you even feel anything anymore? Or has the cosseting black cloud anaesthetized you, numbing and freezing? Do you feel the darkness? No, you never do. You never see the darkness until you have seen the light.